Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time. In this one, we are doing a massive collection of vending machines. Again, we're out in Saitama Prefixture, Japan, and these are some brand new ones right behind me here. Let's have a look. This is basically a refrigerator vending machine. It sells gyoza, different types of gyoza. So let's have a look. Three types. They've got the Genki, Genki gyoza, which means it's gonna make you feel happy. This one is Yomogi, which is more vegetables. And then stamina gyoza here. So that's gonna have the garlic and stuff. It takes five coins, 100 yen coins. Okay, here we go. One stamina gyoza coming up. Gyoza are like dumplings, Chinese dumplings. You eat gyoza with usually ramen. There we go. There it is, stamina. It's gonna give me lots of stamina. That's right. Show you the bottom too. The bottom, these are bigger packages for 500 yen, just one coin. But they didn't have the stamina, right? There's no stamina. Enter the sweet potato machine. Looks like it comes in a bag or comes in a can. And this is 500 yen. Okay, and I guess you just push, it's random. I guess you just push anyone. So they all say they're hot, 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 hot. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. That's me. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like a hot cup of coffee, doesn't it? That's what you think it is, right? But no. Interesting. There's the sweet potato right there. Very interesting. It says yaki imo. So it's a baked yam, baked sweet potato. Let's get right into it. Oh, and uh, you put the cans here to be recycled. There it is. You get two of them, it looks like. Oh, that is so creamy on the inside. It's cooked just right. Super, super sweet. It's almost honey-like. And the skin is very soft. Typically the skin is usually hard, which actually I like it better that way. All you can eat strawberries. Yep. We have found the place. Yes, we have. Oh yeah, so you get 20 minutes to eat all the strawberries that you can. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I forget what it is. I'll be done in probably five minutes. This one for sure. Yummy. <laughs> wow, that's really sweet. Ooh. There we go. Juicy. <laughs> is this ripe enough? Yes, it is. But the more red they are, the better they taste, for sure. Yeah, more sweet. Mmm. So I actually have a video on YouTube where I eat a bunch of strawberries. I think it's like two minutes long. And that video has 25 million views. Unbelievable. That's all I did was just eat strawberries. Kind of like I'm doing now. It wasn't entertaining at all. It was like the most boring video ever. And I wasn't even gonna put it on YouTube and I just said, oh, I'm gonna do some push-ups at the end. That'll make it interesting. Which it didn't really, but, but it was the strawberries that sold it. 25 million. There'll be a link up there if you wanna have a look at it. but. It's really boring. You just watch me do it here, it's the same thing. Although I didn't have this. Here's a difference. Oh, here's a really red one. This is the reddest one of them all. This one has got the perfect color. Yep. It doesn't taste that good, kind of mushy. Here's a Whopper, the size of this guy. I'm gonna dip this one in the sauce here. What do they got? They got like a this is like a milky sauce. It's horrible because it's real super sweet. The Japanese love it. Yeah, they call it Ichigo Miruke. Strawberry milk. Oh, it's like a pudding. That's really good, actually. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Best day of my life? No, the best day of my life was when I made that strawberry video. And it got 25 million hits. Oh my gosh. I have found a brand new vending machine. This one sells Motsunabe right here. 
Motsunabe is a pork type of meat, and then it's here's a picture down here, and it's the uh, the intestines, the pork intestines. But it's delicious. It comes with these beautiful onions, right? The stir fried onions with uh, there's some greens onions on it as well too. It's a really popular dish in Japan. So you buy the bag in here, and then you can go into the restaurant and they'll prepare it for you. So pretty cool. Yeah, or you can take it home and you put it in microwave. You're good to go. But ready to eat, Motsunabe. This is a first. I'm excited about this, actually. Yeah, I guess you just push any button. Oh, I see. Well, so there's two different types. You can get one kilo on the top. No way would I read that much. That's nuts. But this one, 300 grams, I can probably do this. So here we go. There it is. It says Mishima. There it is. There's the goods. You should dispose of here. And yeah, that's meaty. Some carrots in there. Oh, thick chunks of pork. There's a mushroom in there. What is that? Oh, there's konyaku. Let's go out and cook it up. So we're inside the restaurant and hopefully they can cook this up for us. I think they, they offer that service. Yeah. Cheers to you, team. Get some. Oh, it's a spiked lemonade. That's what it is. Oh, it's refreshing. They actually sell this in a can. The can too high. It's really good. So we got the hibachi all set up here. It's got the charcoal in it and then the vent right above it to suck up the smoke. It goes all the way. Look at that. It goes all the way forward. Quite a system in here, huh? It's all linked together and then it puts it all out somewhere. It goes out there. Oh, and you have and you have those ones over. You have the counters too. Those those go up. So it's a separate vent out over there. Anyway, let's open this up. He's given us a saucepan to put it in. And there might be some onions coming, possibly, if we're lucky. But as is, you can eat this. It's it's it's, it's the way. It's got everything in it already. Come on, come on. We get it all. We get all those juices out of there. And there it is, the Motsunabe. It's looking pretty good. I don't wish you guys could smell this. It's, yeah, this is pork hormones. I do not wish you guys could smell this. I try to put it in the sun there, out of the shade, out of the shadow. So we also ordered some side dishes here. We got some edamame Japanese peanuts, lightly salted on the outside. Oh, nice and warm. Mm-hmm. The best. You can buy these frozen in your supermarket, and you just boil them up, put a little bit of salt on them. They're awesome. We have some kimchi right here. We ordered some other meats too. I ordered a little bit of beef because the hormone might gross me out. So definitely have to have some other stuff. This is pretty standard Japanese barbecue. You're gonna get some kimchi and some namudu mixed vegetables, which is, it's a Korean base, bean sprouts, but some pickled vegetables here. It's good stuff. This is in a sesame oil. So it's everything seasoned already. Oh, this is scallions for the motsunabe. This this goes on top of the motsunabe. Let's try the kimchi. You guys like kimchi? It's good stuff. Fermented cabbage. Oh. Mm. No two batches taste alike. Every time you have it, it's gonna be a little bit different because of the fermentation process. Mm. Pickle, daikon radish. Greens. Mm. Oh, it's got that sesame oil and then the bean sprouts. Moyashi. Mm. All right. How's the Motsunabe doing? Mm. Oh, yeah. It's cooking down. Oh, look at that. And I got it from a vending machine. This came out of a vending machine. Oh. All right, back on the fire. A few more minutes here. 
Okay, the Motsunabe looks ready. Yes, it does. And we're gonna put in the scallions here, definitely. Nice. Should we hit it with some red pepper chili flakes? Yes, we shall. All right, here we go, pork hormone soup, otherwise known as Motsunabe, a very popular dish in Japan. Did we mention that it came from a vending machine? Yes, it did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but you gotta get past the smell. It's got a, I don't know what it is. Let's do the konyaku. The cognac I can do. The carrot. The carrot I can do. Mm -hmm. The daikon radish, while well, it's going to be really hot, I think I can do. Mm -hmm. The motsunabe hormones. Gotta go for another bite, just to be fair. Gotta go twice. <laughs> The texture is really nice. It's really nice, tender meat. I'll say that, but it's the smell I can't get past. It's just, it's got this stench to it. But other than that, this is really good stuff. The Japanese love this. And if I eat it more often, I'll probably feel the same way. Okay, since we've got this beautiful barbecue, we've ordered some other side dishes here. These are called komotsu ebi. They're carrying children. Yeah, eggs, that's right. Don't think I've ever had these before. You get six of them. Because they knew I was coming, they gave me six. That'll work. And let's see, there's room for something else on here too. Regular karubi short rib beef. And this is looking really nice. I like these thick pieces. Very nice. Got some nori soup here. Savis service that he just brought it out to us. Just ordered a bunch of stuff. It's kind of nice. It's not miso soup, it's a light, salty soup. And it's hot, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. I think we got shade from my fill in my hat too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. That's better. Correction, this is not nori, this is wakame. Nori is the dried seaweed. I always mix those up, I don't know why. I do know the difference. <laughs> sauce is something I've never seen before. This is kikaman, all-purpose seasoning. Of course, it's shoyu based. It's a shoyu company. So it's going to be flavored shoyu. And you can add salt, pepper, you can add garlic if you want. Garlic powder, you know. Whatever you want to do. It's all good, it's all good. All right, we're already coming off the Barbie here. These bad boys are finished. Look at that, look at that. Ooh, we, got a, we got a tail on fire. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. This actually smells really nice compared to the previous dish. <laughs> the motsunabe. Just the way things are, sometimes you have to acquire the taste for some things and um, I'm constantly working on that. Let's try the shrimp first. You gotta peel it, or you can just go for it. You can suck the miso out if you want. The shell is pretty soft to touch, so I'm gonna just eat it like it is and not peel it. That extra calcium. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, all kinds of flavor there. I can taste the eggs. The tail is a little bit on the hard side, but the body itself is okay. And this kikamon sauce, oh my gosh, this is good. Flavored soy sauce, very nice, it's got a tanginess to it. Let's try the meat. I'm gonna drench it in the sauce. So this is beef, short rib. 
Been on the tough side, I'll say that. Bit chewy. This piece is a little more fatty, a little more tender. Got some different cuts. Oh, this is good, and this sausage is banging. Mmm. Oh, the fatty pieces are so good. Now we're doing the vegetable course here. We got some, a couple different types of green peppers. We got pumpkin, we got stucky mushrooms. We've got nasu, which is eggplant. We got a couple different kinds of onions. Yep. The onions take the longest. Shishito, let's try this pepper. Not too spicy of a Japanese pepper. These are my favorites. Oh. Oh, they got seeds. Soft seeds. Like a jalapeno, but without the spice. Much better than a boring bell pepper. Or piman, as they say in Japanese. Yeah. My favorite is the squash, or Japanese pumpkin. Works great on a barbecue. Mm. Nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a shiitake. This one's cooked well because you can you can tell it's reduced in size. These I pulled off too soon probably, but no problem. You can throw them back on if necessary. Oh, definitely. These need to go back on a little bit longer. What else have I not tried? The onion is good. Cannot lose with onion on a barbecue. Mm. And the long onion, which is even better than a regular onion. Wait, I'll take that back. Round onion, much sweeter. Mm -hmm. These onions are more bitter, but they're both interesting. Mm. And the last thing we have here is eggplant. And I'm not sure how I feel about eggplant on the barbecue. I will let you know. It's okay. And the reason I say that is because eggplant is prepared amazingly in Japanese restaurants when you order it. It just can be done so many amazing ways. Now it is time to try out the gyoza. I'm just gonna do eat one or two of these and I'm gonna cook it on the barbecue, which isn't what you're supposed to do, but um, yeah, so here they are. They've thawed out. I wanted to wait to the end because they were frozen at first, but yep, came from the vending machine. Why do I have to keep saying that? You saw it, it came out of the machine. <laughs> it's got a Ziploc bag, that's kind of nice. And we will just go fishing in here. And there it is. Stamina gyoza. These are the most popular ones in Japan. A lot of shops sell stamina gyoza. Whatever stamina means is going to give you energy, I guess, is kind of the idea. Gyoza is typically done with shoyu and some other things that we don't have here, but I think the garlic powder would be nice. And I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And then the red chili flakes. That's good. That's the perfect sauce. This is a preview of the dessert. We're going to mix this in as well, too. This is a preen, like a yogurt type of dish. It's more of a, a, a custard or a... I don't know my desserts at all. I don't know my desserts at all. And the camera person is not happy with that move right there. Not at all. Doesn't really mix too well, does it? Okay, the, these need to be flipped. Okay, barbecue gyoza. This is a first. It's typically barbecue is done in a fry pan. <laughs> so, yeah, with oil and stuff. But uh, we're improvising here. Instead of having to take it home and prepare it, I thought, well, I just throw it on the barbie. Okay, and we are coming off the fire into the sauce, which is definitely boss. This has got dessert in it. This is the worst looking, most despicable gyoza I've ever seen in my whole life. You never know till you try it. That's what it looks like. Let's keep it together, the one bite style. Always safe to blow on it a couple times, just in case the inside is sizzling. Ho, ho, ho. Dessert like. Oh my gosh, it's good. So good, we're gonna save the second one for the camera person. Oh, no, camera person is waving it off. I will be glad to oblige. Notice how my sauce is melted because of the heat of the gyoza. I have created a master sauce here, if I don't mind saying so myself. Going in. The camera person waved off food. That's a first, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh. And the second piece is even better. Bring on the dessert. This is a Japanese style milk preen or milk pudding. Blueberries and strawberries. That's the fruit that they got around here. Going in. Oh. It is milky. Very different than a custard preen. I might just have to finish all this up for myself. Oh, the cameraman raised the eyebrows. That was a no-go. I am done. We got the big major eyebrow rise. That would have been bad news. So now it is time to rate this meal. Overall, the motsunabe was not my cup of tea. Not at all. It's very stinky meat. I was starting to feel a little queasy after that, but then the, the beef kalbi brought it right back and all the vegetables and stuff. It was definitely a, a hearty barbecue here. Ed, eat it at your table. I love this kind of style of place. So really fortunate that the guy that owns the restaurant has put the machines outside of his stores and he invites you in and he'll cook it for you. That's really cool. Or you can cook it at your table either way. So on my rating scale, I'm gonna go five out of six. It's a num. Oh, num num, I'm sorry, it's num num. I don't even know my own scale anymore. Because I'm gonna be changing my scale, more on that in the future. But for now, five out of six stars. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out my merch. This is one of the new shirts. It says, always take the stairs, because that's what I do. I live by this. Never take an escalator, never take an elevator. Never take a helicopter. It's always the stairs. I'll take a helicopter when it's available. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. There's a link to the merch, uh, I don't know, if over, over somewhere. See you later.